my friends welcome back i'm daily fix and we are continuing with united earth a series playing star trek new horizons of course so we are currently going to be sending out this own construction ship um well i'm, I'm debating if we should send it over here and uh, we have more than enough alloys but we are lacking influence which is well definitely not the best thing. Also, we have a colonization ship going towards Alpha Centauri. Wolf 424 is starting to look very, very nice. But there are more things that we need to be doing. Um, we have the Expanse mission. And we got a lot of stuff not going at the moment. You are locked in an event, I believe. Yeah, it is time. It is time. Let's take a quick look. So, scientist is present. Um, let's go to. So, is a scientist currently present? Because we had, we had a rough time with the probe. Oh my! <laughs> oh damn! It was bad. It truly, truly was a nightmare. So. I think we're also working, it has, it has been some time, yes we are, we're working the Vulcan mission. So that means that we're just going to be sending, who is this? You. You're going to be researching the project in the system. It doesn't mean this guy is going to be sent uh, towards the expense mission. We do have a good amount of time, but we're going to make sure that this is going to start ticking. As for my influence, it is not good. <laughs> oh boy, it is bad. It is honestly bad. Um, let's take a quick look. So, passive observation and technology enlightenment we can't do. We don't. We won't do. Um, eventually, when these guys hit uh, the pre-warp stage, if they don't kill each other or themselves. Uh, you can eventually get them to join the Federation, which is definitely no. What is this? Huh, okay, cool, I guess. Uh, why not? So I think it's going to be time to unpause. Let's take a quick look. We are still having a lot of devastation. I can't remember if the probe actually managed to get to Earth in the series i can't remember so enlighten me please uh, because that is things that are quite interesting to me so we have the nuclear electronic lab as well as the max the uh, districts on research increasing so this is nice for our survey ships colony development speed and migration i like this one so this is what we we're talking about Commercial districts improvement. So once this is done, we'll have a plus one on migration pool from our commercial districts. And as you can see, we have two more slots available for our research. Uh, we have enough of that. We're not building anything. We got 20 pops, meaning we have a, a job available. So the devastation, I think will go automatically. I also want to do the special Armstrong city because it is not too expensive. So let's do that. And let's do build two of those. With all of that out of the way. Is there anything here damaged? It doesn't appear to be so. So over time this will change. As you can see resource from Bob is now 489. Uh, so it's going down which is a good, good thing. You, we're going to be sending you back. Now, I'm debating if what I did was good. If I should have attacked it immediately. Uh, we did get 25 in fleet power. So, I'm debating it. I am debating it. We should improve our fleet though, just to get relative power up. As you can see, they are starting to spread out. And we're spreading out just as much as the Vulcans currently. And look at that fleet. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. So, Captain Diego turns to the communications officer and asks her to open a channel to the surface. The hill. The hills to a lost colony are met with silence and no reply is re received. 
the captain more um, diego um, consults with the science officer requesting analysis there are no bio signs but the colony appears to be intact sensors are detecting low lives on the surface on surface radiation okay well um, we're going to be assembling a team and hopefully if all goes well we might end up with a additional colony let's see we have import of luxuries ideological still plus two it is a empire modifier interesting military academy um maybe maybe although this will give us hospitals hospitals is nice it, i think it is nice I do, I do, it is expensive it is let's go with the military buildings um eventually we'll have that locked to our naval capacity and then is when that is starting to shine so the forge Jonathan Archer has experienced a number of visions following the attack on the Serenite base. Learning that Siren carried the uh, Katra or Soul of Surak, now transferred to himself, the mental toll is heavy. The Pau reveals the underpinning Yeah, reveals the underpinning of the Serenite's faith in the Ker Shara. A ancient artifact said to contain the complete writing of Surak, thought lost to time. With the Kir Shara, Tapau argues that they can provide proof the Serenite's peaceful ways to the Vulcan High Command. Jonathan Archer offers his help to locate this artifact. So let's do that. Anything else that we are going to be doing? Did we make? Yes, we did. So we're making more. Oh, guy, okay, we go again. We got so many things going on. So many things. So the alien probe. Engineering teams have successfully analyzed the wreckage of the alien probe. Certain quantum markers to the hull material indicates composure to a class of subspace anomal uh, anomalies frequent to the Delphonic Expanse. A turbulent region coreward. The vessel's damaged computer core reveals almost nothing short of the name of the race, the Zindi. Determines to prevent future incursions into the United Earth space, the Admiralty have proposed a mission to the Delphonic Expanse to gain additional intelligence. Acknowledge, doesn't mean we're going to be doing that right away. I might be dragging that out a bit. So, Terra Nova, uh, Captain's Log, Supplemental. The away team's shuttle has landed on the surface near the colony. All that they have found so far are empty buildings. Covered in rust and foliage. There are no signs of weapon fire and other indications of what happened here. The Captain Diego orders the away team to the colony's communication relay and pull whatever information they can uh, they can that can be accessed. The captain and the security officer begin to search the area for future clues. Let's continue the search. Hopefully this will uh, speed up. I would really like to send Jonathan Archer to this project because it is his mission. It is his mission. I don't feel um, comfortable sending someone else to such an important mission. Uh, let's see. I kind of feel we might want to break one or two alliances to get our influence back. What we need is factions. That's what we need. So... The Kir Shara, uh, Shara, yeah, it is, I'm actually pronouncing this right. Oh, that's, that's the first. Uh, with the Katra of Shurik in his mind, Jonathan Archer was able to locate the underground monastery where the Kir Shara has been kept safe for centuries. A small and no graded pyramid with the Vulcan, with Vulcan riding alongside its surfaces, the Kir Shara showed evidence of containing advanced storage and display technology. Tapau argues that the only logical course of action now is to present the Kashara to the Council of Ministries of Ministers and argue their innocence. Jonathan Archer instead suggests that perhaps the Kashara should be safer offward of world, arguing they should locate a shuttle and return the ship to orbit. We're going to be taking it to the capital and hopefully there is not going to be civil war. 
We're going to keep a close eye on the timed project. You. Well. We're going to keep him here for now. You're all busy, and I would really like to get this one. We need influence. Badly. Hmm. Got so much going on. Defensive pack. Guaranteeing our independence. The Endorians are guaranteeing us. What can the Imperial Guard do for you? Well, not much. To negative 46. Nothing that is, is unimportant. Negative 44. I was looking for a battle of wits. I guess oh. I will keep looking. Shall we start inviting these guys into a coalition? I think that might be a good course of action. We will stand stronger. I don't think they have any means against being in a coalition. Let's go. Uh, will it will cost us? Wow. We can invite them into our coalition and increase their trust by plus one each month to the maximum of 100. It will cost us 1.5 each month. That is uh, quite drastic. I don't think we're ready for a coalition then. What we need is, um, is factions. After hours of searching the ruins of the settlement, Captain Diego detects a life form on his tricorder. Pursuing the life form, he follows a life sign. He follows to a nearby cave system. The security officer takes point and proceeds into an opening, proceeding deeper beneath the surface. Both officer, both officers are ambushed by the inhabitants of the cave. Uh, scaring back to the primitive attackers um, with warning shot, they head back to the entrance. Moments before the mouth of the cave, the security officer is struck by a flint spear and killed Diego narrowly escapes attempt to negotiate and these guys are now forming a non-aggression pack so I'm actually so we're going to be doing this Is we're going to be starting a new coalition and this will probably destroy my influence oh what let's smells go so badly so that's it done is it you? Oh, that is such an annoying t uh, thing. Speak boldly. Uh, or we will not accept at all. and we'll destroy our influence even more. I'm really scared about this, guys. We're Can we invite. Back. No, we cannot. Can we invite the Andorians? It is an honor to meet you. No. They will not join a coalition. So they will most likely break. All trees with us, which is so far not a big problem. The Gracious Concord. So the captain and the medical officer head to the surface to retrieve the body of the dead security officer. Upon arrival, they may be able to locate the entrance of the. They are able to locate the entrance of the cave complex to navigate to a room where the security officer's body has been left. The captain shouts out. Let's try to negotiate. No more bloodshed today. The Novas emerge and accepting the peaceful intentions, agreeing to bring the captain to a large cave deep inside the tunnels. After hours of negotiation, Captain Diego is able to convince the Novans that they, um, that they are killing themselves to trust the crew of the USS Franklin. Let's accept. What is this time? Okay, it's still going. Uh, oh, we're actually gaining influence again. Whew. That's better. We're going to let this guy remain there. Is there anything else that we have for our construction ship? Uh, not really. There is nothing. Come on, Jonathan, you can do this. <clears throat> I want you to transform the Vulcans into a peaceful society. That would be the best. The journey from the Vulcan Forge to the capital is long and arduous. Arduous, whatever. But Jonathan Archer and Tapau eventually arrive at the capital outskirts. Finding shelter with a, with a Serenite sympathizer, the pair carefully plan their, to, uh, plan their next move. 
to confront the council with the uh, Kir Shara and demonstrate their innocence. Oh boy, let's keep this going. It is still a lot of days left and I seriously want to get these guys. Did, did I... Did I order this? Oh, look at that. Okay, so we got this. <laughs> I was completely uh, confused now. After an intense negotiation period and promises of aid, the Novins agreed to move back to the surface and resettle the colony. The case of their initial retreat to the caves, a wave of deaths due to local radiation hazards, is identified and traded using technology from the USS Franklin development uh, years after the colony was established. The USS Franklin sends a communication to Earth explaining the situation and requesting assistance with the aid... Oh, we got it! With the aid... Um, wow, I lost my bearings. With the aid from the rest of the crew of the USS Franklin, they are able to help and build a new colony on Terra Nova. So we got Terra Nova! That's brilliant! That is absolutely brilliant! And we got enough influence. Look at this. Uh, influence gained 80. Thank you. So, with that done, we're going to be building an orbital post over there. Um, and that also means I would... Well, by the time you get here... Well... Build a starbase outpost? Wait, we don't have an outpost in here. Ooh, wait a minute. That could be bad, right? Hmm, let's see, how expensive, it only costs me alloy, so build an outpost, build mining station, just better be saved than sorry. We got our third colony, fletchling colony, go away forge, um, it's not forge actually, it's the other one, fletchling colony, growth speed, and it is heavy on commercial, that is lovely, we can definitely boost you into a energy planet uh, way more than earth earth is definitely going to be research and mars has probably minerals well we'll just see what will happen so the cut sharar sharar i've probably already changed the name of this thing 15 times during this episode alone the plan is successful the power and jonathan archer are infiltrated the council chambers of the vulcan high command and forces those present to bear witness to the Kashara and the Serenade's claim of innocence. Many were aware that the presence of the Kashara administ uh, well, many were owed by the presence of the Kashara. Administrator Sherlock rejects with uncharismatic anger and attempts to destroy the artifacts and kill Tapau and Jonathan Archer in the process. Wait, why? Well, why? Well, he died? No, 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 no. He should not be dead. Uh, this doesn't tell us anything. Whoa, we haven't... Uh, oh, what? I'm an idiot. Didn't I? Oh, boy. It's unable to build a starfish. Reforce... Uh, okay, that's fine. Let's move you. Uh, system... Outpost rebuilt, which is good. Let's st stop here. We didn't do this. Why didn't I do this? You go. Oh, I'm such. I'm so dense. Oh man, I'm an idiot. Well, okay. So what stopped? Not this. Fleet order. Let's get rid of you. So you're still moving, but yeah, we have an alloy thing. You're still moving there. Okay, so the, um, the, the United Arabs investigator Jonathan Archer, tasked with the uncovering the truth of the embassy bombing on Vulcan, has been instrumental in revealing the innocence of the Serenite movement. The Vulcan authorities and reclaiming the Kashara artifact contains a complete writing of Shurik. N uh, how the Vulcan people absorb and deal, this information, and, and deal with this information now is hard to gout. But Captain Jonathan Archer has completed this task and will return to service. Great. Jonathan Archer is back. 
Yeah, we have reforms, Jonathan Archer. Progress is already being researched. Uh, where is this? Okay, track on the map, go to. Uh, Jonathan Archer is this ship. It's in. Can I not change this anymore? If we move you out and research that project, yes, that's what I wanted. So we have sixteen hundred and ninety-two days, and it will take him three hundred and ninety. It will be okay. Meaning you are going to be back at service. So Vulcan reformation. With the revelation of the, uh, to the Vulcan public of the Kashara and the collected teachings of Shurik, the majority Serenite movement is shown to be the accurate representation of Shurik's belief. And, this, uh, and as this new reality is absorbed, Serenites old and new sweep into power, reflecting the broader changes to the Vulcan culture and are about to take place, which is absolutely fantastic. A logical request. So, it is still distance that is the problem, uh, mostly. We don't want to be their vessel. What we should try to do is get this system serious. Maybe even Wolf 359. Uh, the reason for it is, I hope it has something in this, which would be nice. No planet by the looks of things. We could also take Wolf 424. You're moving back. You are moving as well. We'll just see. We'll have to wait and see, guys. What will happen? You need orders. And we're going to be sending you here, there, there. So let's start investigating this territory. While Captain Jonathan Archer is heading back into service. We are currently within a coalition with the Terranites. And probably we'll have the Confederate of Shirk. And then the Andorians. And then we can focus on forming the Federation. But that we'll have to do in another episode. My friends, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying yourself. I know I am. <sighs> have a good one. And see you next time. Bye-bye.